Chocolate is the sweet treat we know and love as a relatively new thing. For centuries, chocolate was mainly consumed as an unsweetened hot drink on par with coffee. It wasn't until the 1600s that it started to appear in a small number of recipes. It would take another century and a half before it became a commonplace ingredient. Today, Miss M is making a recipe for chocolate puffs that was published in Richard Briggs' cookbook, The New Art of Cookery, in 1798. We found at least seven different recipes from various historical cookbooks for chocolate puffs, with the earliest dating to 1687. Instructions and ingredient amounts are often vague in historic recipes. Cooks had to interpret the instructions based on their own experience and their equipment. Standard cooking measurements did not come about until the late 1800s. What one cook used would often be slightly different for another. Our chocolate puff recipe required a little experimentation to get the measurements just right. This recipe is actually very simple and used only three ingredients, egg whites, grated chocolate, and sugar. The first ingredient required is one cup of double refined sugar or extra fine sugar. In our kitchen, we use loaf sugar that is cut from the cone and then ground fine. To remove any possible sugar clumps, run the sugar through a sifter now grate one ounce of baker's chocolate very fine. A small nutmeg grinder works best. During most of the 1800s and before, the type of chocolate available for cooking came in a block form, which had to be melted or ground in order to incorporate it into recipes. Obviously, Dutch chocolate would be much easier to use, but it was not invented until 1828. At the time, chocolate was not overly sweet either and had notes of vanilla, orange, and cinnamon. The original recipe called for one egg white, but this proved insufficient, so we used two. Beat the egg whites until stiff peaks form. Although this particular recipe did not call for it, we found several that included a pinch of cream of tartar to help keep the egg whites from collapsing. Slowly incorporate the sugar and chocolate mixture while continuing to whisk the egg whites. Once everything is fully combined, line cookie sheets with parchment paper dusted with sugar. Use a teaspoon to drop the batter onto the prepared cookie sheets and bake them in a slow oven, about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, for 60 to 90 minutes. The puffs are done when the outside is hard and they sound hollow when tapped.
We hope you get the opportunity to make these in your own kitchen and experience a taste of the past.